Ninth Age Battle Report, a miniature game for serious Adults. individuals. These are Highborn Elves versus Sylvan Elves, and what are the units compiling the Highborn Elves army? I have one uh, Asfad uh, Scholar with the Book of Arcane Power. Uh, he has uh, Pyromancy. And he rolled uh, Pyroclastic Flow, Cascading Fire, Flaming Swords, and uh, Enveloping Embers. Overpowered. Overpowered. <laughs> uh, next to him is the Battle Standard Bearer. Uh, he has the Bow of Elu and is a uh, Queen's uh, companion. They are in, arch uh, in a unit of 20 archers with the uh, musician and uh, flaming banner. My general is a uh, uh, prince on a uh, lion chariot. He has a uh, great weapon, longbow, uh, four plus ward save and uh, bluffer's helm with the, a two plus armor save. The actual prince is suspiciously missing. <laughs> Don't you see him? He's there. And crewman. He's not just not so princey. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty nine line guards in a horde uh, formation. In the they back. have uh, full command. Uh, five uh, knights of Rima with the uh, musician and war banner of Rima. Uh, then it's five Elian Reavers with bow. Uh, three uh, bolt throwers, 20 spearmen with champion and musician, and uh, five Elian Reavers with uh, bow. Mm -hmm. That's about it. This is a frontline clash and a breakthrough objective. So the Sylvan Elves and Highborn Elves are trying to penetrate each other's deployment zones and have their scoring units there. The Sylvan Elves have Glade Riders. Kestrel Knights, their general, a Blade Lord with Blade Answers, Archers, Thicket Beasts, and here are the Wild Huntsmen. Plus one unit, more of Glade Guards. The Wild Huntsmen, Huntsmen Riders have Spears, except the front unit here with Sylvan Blades, and the Arc Druid with, with Druidism on a Forest Dragon. The Kestrel Knights vanguard up to the front of the forest. The Reavers vanguard to the rear of their armies. The High Elf Prince charges the Kestrel Knights and they flee to the back of the forest. On Highborn Elf, who take turn one. All ten, oh, all ten Sylvan Archers fall from the Highborn Elf Archers and a Bolt Rover. <laughs> Uh, no, the uh, Pyromancer and, and a Bolt Rover shot down the archers. The Highborn Elf archers and their Bolt Rovers shoot down five Blade Lancers. And uh, now it's Sylvan Elf's turn one. The Kestrel Knights rally and get up in the front of the Bolt Rover and so on. And out of line of sight of the spearman and the general. Waffles. Uh, on Sylvan Elf turn two, everything moves up. The dryads, which I forgot to deploy. <laughs> the blade dancers get off the oaken throne on the arch druid, so they get one wound back, but the summer growth spell didn't come off. The glade 
Riders, Chaff, the Knights of Rima, and all the Wildwood Riders are angling up for charges. The dragon fires off its breath weapon to do something useful in this battle and kills 10 archers. Out of 12 possible. But they don't panic. Mm -hmm. Lucky. And the tree singing spell moves up this forest with the glade riders. Perilously close to the chariot. The Kestrel Knight shoot down one light cavalryist, Elyrian Reavers, and uh, the other two glade rider units shoot down a couple of archers. Now it's Highborn Elves turn two. What will they do? They have better ranged equipment and uh, better magic for damage. What will they do? A lot has happened in Highborn Elves turn two. The Sylvan Elves did a strategic error when they chaffed the Knight of Rima here. They placed Wildwood Riders behind. So the chaff had to flee and the redirect ended up in these Wildwood Riders. But in the remaining combat the Wildwood Riders killed two Knights of Rima and managed to stand on a leadership five or six. And the Knights of Rima killed only three. Only three were killed. So they flopped. And uh, if they had uh, succeeded, they would have overrun into the flank of the dragon mage. Exactly. So it was a strategic fault on the Sylvan Elf part, but he, th that is me, survived despite <laughs> it. <laughs> the general in a lion chariot did four wounds on a thicket beast. The thicket beast fled and got away. And he got, did a short overrun. So the dice gods have not been on the side of the highborn elves. What will Sylvan elves do in, on this turn? They have the initiative. These blade riders fled from the chaffing Knights of Rima. The Lyran Reavers are up to chaff there. On Sylvan Elf turn 2, the Thicket Beast rally, the Reavers here rally, and move up here, the Dragon, and two Wild Huntsmen charge first the Archers which flee with a character, and then they charge the White Lions. They forgot to attack the Mage when they attack the White Lions. So the Sylvan Elves are forgetting a lot there, but having a lot of luck on their die. The Dragon failed his charge when the Archers fled. The Blade Dancers charged into the Highborn Prince, who challenged the Champion and killed the Champion. We forgot the Stone Skin spell. Uh, the Dragon Knights of Rima killed two wild huntmen and got one casualty in return and we forgot the entwining roots so the wood elves had a good magic face but they forgot <laughs> the effect of the spell you also raised two kestrel knights i raised two wild huntsmen wild huntsmen yeah. so they were four when they charged and they're down to three after the combat these wild huntsmen charged the elaine reavers and killed them and reformed the Kestrel Knights killed the Boltrover and reformed against the Spearmen. And the Drides moved forwards. And this Glade Rider moved back. So it's a wild and chaotic battle and nobody is in control. No. Usually it's the Highborn Elf player but not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Very little in control. Yeah. So nothing happened in magic. In shooting, both the bolt throwers shot the Kestrel Knights in front of the Spearman unit. So they're gone from here? Uh, 
then the reavers moved up to check the um, dryads. Highborn now for turn three. The um, archer unit with the battle standard bear um, rallied. Then in uh, close combat, the knights of Rimia beat the last uh, wildwood rider and, and reformed to face the other wildwood riders. Uh, the lion prince beat the remaining um, blade dancer with only the general standing, and he passed the leadership six break uh, leadership six break test. So blade lord is left with the highborn prince, and the then two uh, the um, the prince reformed. Uh, so he presented his flank to the general, so the wildwood riders could not see him and charge. Behind the mountain. Yeah. And the white lions, of course, killed the last wildwood rider. Mm. Now it's Sylvan Elf, turn three. On the Sylvan Elf's turn, the Thicket Beast made the charge. As did the Wildwood Riders who killed the two Knights of Rima and the Archdruid on Dragon charged into the White Lions. The Dryads charged into the four Elaine Reavers. And the Thicket Beast did one wound on the General in the Lion Chariot after the Blade Lord refused the challenge. The dragon killed the champion with an overkill, but they're stubborn because they're against the white lions are against the monster. The Sylvan Elves got up the spirit of the woods so that the Thicket Beast and Blade Lord would be stubborn in case they lost the combat. They only lost one wound, or two wounds. So things are thinning out and it's Highborn Elf turn four. Isn't that right? Yeah, I think so. And this is a breakthrough, so we'll have to start thinking about the breakthrough here. No one will break through. So we already found. Tom. The archers are moving forwards. With the battle stand over. Highborn elves are running out of good options. He's not running out of bad die rolls. No. They don't disappoint me. <laughs> How are you looking at? He stopped being disappointed in bad dice dice rolls. <laughs> the spearmen are preparing a counter charge. If the dryads move off towards the BSB and archers. Oh, on 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 Highborn Elf turn five, the Highborn Prince keeps challenging the Blade Lord and he refuses because he wants support to be able to attack the prince. So he, the high elves are whittling down the thicket beasts. The dragon kills the highborn mage, who tried to five dice a spell and got f 25. Before that. <laughs> and they had flaming swords. They had flaming swords and did zero wounds to the dragon, even with multiple wounds too. Because the dragon managed two six plus armor saves. Mm -hmm. He killed the dragon and four, five white lions. So now things are closing in on the highborn elves. There are many eternally sad days for the elven race. Time is running out. Their strength is whittling down. The highborn elf general took two wounds of the blade lord, who now accepted the challenge. The cascading fire is still going strong. The thicket beast fled, and the others remain in combat. The dragon lost two wounds against the white lion and has four remaining, but is whittling down the white lions. So there are only six left. 
their BSB is back in the field here. The archers fled after losing combat against the Dryads. The Glade Riders killed three spearmen, but the spearmen managed to do a reform and did not flee. Highborn Elf turn 6. It looks like they cannot get the objective unless they kill the Dryads in the last turn. The Prince som har stått emot. The spearmen killed the Glade Guards and reformed to face the Dryads. The six white lions, they were in a horde formation 30 strong earlier yeah. when they were charged by the dragon, but now the six remaining white lions killed the dragon doing four They've wounds. They've been in combat with the dragon with plus one to wound for, I don't know, four, <laughs> four rounds, never been able to uh, do a wound. They're not dragon killers, but they killed the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> but now finally when uh, they are fighting against the dragon with the plus three toughness or something. Yeah, stone skin plus three toughness. So um, three hits to go through and then I wound on uh, two of them with the uh, two sixes. But the blade lord fell against the highborn general in the chariot and the wildwood riders fled on leadership six. So things are evening out there. This is the last turn of the game. Uh, no, this is this the is next turn. Last. Five. This is actually turn five. I think we were wrong last turn. Mm -hmm. That's extraordinary. We were actually actually wrong about the turn <laughs> count. But never happened before. No, never happened. Before. Never <laughs> happening again. Now it's Sylvan Elves turn five. The Highborn Elves actually managed to wrap it up to a minor victory in the end. The general charged the remaining Wildwood Riders and the Sylvan Elves only had one Glade Rider remaining and a core unit of Dryads almost complete. They chose not to charge the White Lions, they just marched past them to break through. So the Sylvan Elves got the objective with the only strong unit left. Everything else is off the battle. The Highborn Elves actually only lost about half their army, but they killed the general. They lost under half, half their army, but they killed the Blade Lord General right here. And it's an 11 9 victory to the Highborn Elves because they lost the objective. A great battle. A thriller. It'll be sung legends about, not in the forest, but in the high castles of the elves. <laughs>